Hey guys, it's Rebecca Verstadt. So today in the mail, I got my Ipsy Glam Bag, which is this beautiful like rose gold color. And it says on the front, and off she went to change the world. And I just got, last Friday, I ended up getting my February Ipsy Glam Bag. So the fact that this one arrived today, this is the March bag, I was kind of excited for it because there was an add-on product that I actually added. So I'm gonna be doing a uh, unbagging of this and try on when I actually get to the products to try on, and I will be talking about them just a little bit, and hopefully you enjoy. Okay, so inside is the normal card that we got in like our normal bags, but there is a double side and it folds out. So in this bag, it says, Ipsy, hashtag Ipsy Shiro. It's National Women's History Month. To celebrate, we loaded up your March, uh, your March glam bag with female founded brands and girl boss staples. Learn about these trailblazing founders, plus everything you need to know about your five hashtag Ipsy Shiro products on ipsy.com or the Ipsy app. This one's for all the women out there running the show, making history and helping us look damn good along the way. It says flip for more. Wait, there's more. One, need more girl power? Check out ipsy.com slash shop slash shiro to score dozens of female founded brands we think you'll love. I will leave all these linked down below in the description. Uh, two, our beauty quiz got a makeover. Head to ipsy.com slash quiz slash retake slash questions and update us on your preferences. Now you can tell us even more about what you want, like how often to send certain items and how often you want to receive different shades. Now I did try and retake the quiz and it didn't seem any different than what it was in the past. So I'm gonna have to go to this direct link myself and see if maybe that's different than the one that keeps popping up every time I log into Ipsy. And this is number three, giveaway alert. Score 50 glam bag products plus $1,000 cash. Show us the hashtag Ipsy Shiro in your life by tagging them on IG and sharing how she inspires you for a chance to win. There is an asterisk after when it says, be sure to include hashtag contest in your post. Nominations must be posted by March 31st of 2019 at 11.59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Open to the U.S. residents 18 and older. Accounts must be public until winner is announced on April 12th, 2019. By participating, you agree to the official rules at www.ipsy.com slash contest dash rules. Now on the inside of the card, this is the first time I've ever seen them do this, where they actually have a picture of each of the products, the title, and then a description of what they are. Now I always go through the website, I look at all the products, I write down um, what they are, I figure out how much the full size costs and how much the full size is and whether it's ounces, grams, uh, milliliters, that kind of thing. And then uh, when I get the bag, I write down uh, what the tester size is, whether or not it's a tester size or a full size, and I figure out based on the full size and the, the product weight for full size and then break it down for how much the tester size is and configure uh, like a price that way. And um, so I've always, I always do like one of these cards before the bag actually arrives and then I just write in the numerical values for how big the actual product is when I get it. So. Um, this kind of saves me some time. I did write on here, but this says, here's some quick helpful hints about your five March glam bag picks. For step-by-step -step photos, videos, reviews, and more, head to ipsy.com or our app. And it's got all five products listed, and I will just do these in the order that they are here instead of the order in which I pulled them out of the bag and wrote the information down. Now, the first product is from a company called Answer From. They are rebranding, they're redoing their name of their company. Uh, when I tried to do a Google search for this, needless to say, when you type in Answer From, you get Answer From about eye creams or about the top five eye creams or answers about the top five eye creams or answers about illuminating eye creams. I about ripped my hair out when I looked up this one and I couldn't find it, but I did find like a blog post uh, about it and about how it has the original company name and links to the original company's website. So needless to say, I hate the name Answer From as the company. This is made in Korea. It says, answer from a luminous collagen eye cream. K-Beauty Obsessed, here's another up and coming brand to have on your radar and your vanity. This cream is infused with collagen to hydrate, energize, and brighten your under eye area. Plus it's super gentle, so it's fab for all skin types. Tip, using your ring finger, dab a pea sized amount of this cream onto your under eye area. Let it soak in for a minute or two before applying your concealer. Now the full size product with the original packaging that's not this, 
is $20 for 20 grams or 0.70 ounces. This is eight milliliters or 0.28 ounces, so this is worth about $8. I did take the safety seal off and I put it on the inside of my arm to do a patch test and I can barely smell it now, but it does have quite a bit of a fragrance to this cream. It just kind of smells like a moisturizer with floral hints. I really do enjoy the fragrance, but for people that are sensitive to fragrance, this might not be a good product for you. It says, this lumin luminous collagen eye cream delivers vital nutrients to the eye area, gently moisturizing and instantly brightening the dry, uneven, tired looking skin. Perfect for use under eye makeup, it contains highly effective natural ingredients that provide essential daily hydration and protection. And it says right here on the back, it says the different company and they're from Seoul, South Korea. And you can find more information on answersfrom.com. I couldn't get the website to pull up for me. I don't know if it's the internet or if it's their website, but they do have a website link on here. Uh, so I can't put this on my face just yet. I had a really bad reaction to the product that I used from the Ipsy Glam Bag from February. I have the other one right here. I did try and use the KNC Beauty Star Shaped Eye Mask last night. Needless to say, I got the first one on, wouldn't put the second one on, and the first eye was burning. So that didn't last very long. The next item is Sand and Sky Australian Pink Clay Pore Refining or Pore Fining Face Mask. This brand was founded by sisters who share a passion for using rare Australian ingredients in skincare. Made with a light pink, and it's got an exclamation point, Australian clay, this mask tightens pores, not, nixes excessive oil, and leaves your skin feeling so smooth. It says tip, apply an even layer oh, all over clear skin, let sit for 10 minutes. You might feel a slight tingle, totally normal. Gently rinse, rinse off with warm water and pat, uh, pat your skin dry. I did put some here. It is like a light pastel, like pinky shade um, on my arm. So, and I didn't notice a fragrance in this at all. No, it just smells like a clay mask. No added fragrance. The full size of this was expensive. It was $49 for 30 grams. This is 13 grams. So this little tube right here is worth $21.23. It's also 0 0.45 ounces if you go by ounces instead of grams. So it says detoxifying and brightening on the front. It says always patch test before use. I'm doing that. This product contains vitamin A. Use with caution if also taking dietary supplements or using other products containing vitamin A. Not tested on animals, and this is uh, made in Melbourne, Australia. So, um, you know, there's that. So this is the second product on the list. Next is a Royal and Langnickel brush. This is the Moda Pro Precision Angled Brush. This is actually a full-size product. I mean, it's a brush. It's, it retails for $5.99, or you can get it for $4.79 on Ipsy. Royal and Langnickel's brush line Moda, known for its stylish on-trend brushes with broad waterproof silk textured handles. This one's the right size for applying highlighter and contour products where you need them. Bonus, this brush is vegan, friendly, and cruelty-free. It says tip, dab your brush into highlighter and swipe it wherever you want it to go, like your cheekbones, down the bridge of your nose, Cupid's bow, and chin. Now. I got this Moto Pro brush either in my January bag or my December bag. This is their actual highlighting brush. So, and it's the same same handle. So this is actually what I'm gonna be using today to use the, one of the highlighting products that I have in here um, instead of this. I'm actually gonna be using this as an eye brush. This actually looks like a really good size to fit right along my brow bone to be able to like get a nice even blend on my brow bone and my crease because I have hooded eyes and partially deep set eyes. I like brushes like this because it literally just kind of fits right in to that area right there. So that's what I plan on using this with uh, for today. I will be doing an eye look um, with the product, with one of the other products here in just a minute with this brush. So I'm excited for brushes. I love getting brushes. I've gotten, let's see how many brushes on my counter. Okay, out of the brushes on my counter right now, all of these came from Ipsy, every single one of these brushes. Now these are all my face brushes that I use on a daily basis. This brush, the Sfera F50 brush um, or 50F, I just got this in my February bag. I've got the uh, Luxie face, the foundation brush, their blush brush, and their contour brush, the Moda brush that I just showed you, all of those are brushes that I use on a daily basis. I've got the Vera Mona shader brush, the Farrah, is this the e, E35, and uh, that's on the floor, 
The Scone Cosmetics Large Shadow Brush. This is from Glamour Dolls. This is another Lexi brush. All of these came from Ipsy Glam Bags, and I wouldn't own any of these if it wasn't for Ipsy Glam Bag because some of these brushes are like $20 to $30 each, and they're quite expensive. But I love the brushes, and I'm always excited to get brushes from Ipsy. Okay, so next is the Estate Cosmetics Do Me Baked Highlighter in Pearl. This is actually a full-size product. These retail for $10. This is Animal Lovers. This one's for you. All of this brand's formulas are completely cruelty-free. This velvety highlighter has a light pink and pearly finish that's totally buildable. So you can take your look from low-key lit, uh, lit from within, sheen to the next level of glow. It says tip for the ultimate glow. Use a fluffy angle brush to apply to your cupid's bow, cheekbones, uh, bridge of your nose, forehead, chin, and inner corners of your eyes. I don't have any highlight on. That's This is the reason why I don't have any highlight on. I do have a couple of other estate products. So this is 3.2 grams or to 0.11 ounces. I'm going to grab my little BH Cosmetics. This is my Studio Pro. I don't think they make these brushes anymore. I love them. I bought a three pack of them. This is number 18. It's supposed to be for highlighting. And I'm grabbing my little BH Cosmetics Capricorn palette. And I'm going to go ahead and put this on right now. And this is a fluffy brush with a cat hair in it. <laughs> so um, this is a fluffier brush instead of the Moto brush. And I'm going to see if this one applies better with the fluffy brush or the Moto brush. It seems very subtle. Let me grab the Moto brush. It's kind of like an icy pink shade. It's very pretty. I'm not going to do the other cheek just yet. I have another highlighter to try on there. Next item is this IBY Beauty eyeshadow in gets soaked. It says this rosy pink velvety shadow is a staple in our kit for creating a sheer wash of gorgeous color. What's more, the formula is, trying to fight with it to get it out of the box, the formula is vegan, free of talc, mineral oil, and parabens, and is infused with rosehip seed oil to help protect the delicate skin on your lids. It says tip to create a one-step look to uh, look day, day look, can't read, uh, sweep the shadow across your entire lid with a fluffy shadow brush and blend in a windshield wiper motion. This is 1.5 grams or 0.05 ounces. This actually is one of the shades in a, four, or a 12 shadow palette. The palette itself sells for $20 full, full price or $17 on Ipsy. So this means this product is worth $1.06. So this is where the little moto brush is going to come into play. So I tapped it into the product twice. And I'm going to go ahead and grab my little Zodiac palette here for the mirror. And I'm going to apply this on my crease and see what I think. I mean, I have I've have like the highlighter from IBY and Bubbly and I have a couple other lip products. So I'm familiar with some of their other products, but I don't think I've ever gotten an eyeshadow from them. Okay, so I'm not quite sure where it left off. I will have to figure that out in editing, but I had just talked about the IBY Beauty eyeshadow and what I ended up doing was applying it all over my lid and I had to use my makeup remover uh, cloth dry to try and get it off because well uh, my entire phone like shut down so I'm gonna just literally place this in my crease this moda brush is very soft I placed it literally all over my eyelid and this this eyeshadow actually kind of matches my shirt that I'm wearing today I like this brush because it literally fits right where I want to apply color to my brow bone. One thing about this shadow though, besides the fact that it blends super easily, it does have a little bit of kickback in the pan. So when you dip your brush in, just be aware that it is a little bit of a powdery formula. Um, I'm just kind of like taking just a little bit of a, the shadow at a time and working it with the brush on onto my eye. And then, you know, if there's like any powder left in the actual pan of the eyeshadow. I'm just kind of trying to pick it up with the brush to um, to make it not leave like little powdery bits in. And then I'm going to take the Estate Highlighter on my finger and I'm going to 
press this on the lid to give it a little bit of dimension and some shimmer. Put it on my inner corner and then brush it over my brow bone. Look, a whole bunch on that one. <laughs> And here we are with just the IBY shadow in, is this Get Soaked? Yeah, Get Soaked, and then the Estate Highlighter in Pearl all over the lid, the inner corner, and the brow bone. And I mean, if that's a little bit too much highlight on your brow bone, this is just the powder brush that I use for under my eyes. I just, you know, run it over my brows. Now, the that was literally the last thing in my glam bag but I did choose an add-on item. Um, the bag itself, of course, costs $10. The bag worth is $46.88, but my add-on item brings the total up over 80 bucks. So this is the Ofer Cosmetics. Now granted, this is their, um, their old packaging. This is their highlighter in Star Island. It is absolutely stunning. I have one of their other highlighters in Blissful. I got that in an Ipsy Glam bag like years ago. I'm going to try it with this one first. This is my BH Cosmetics highlighting brush. That's why I didn't have highlight on this side. Now this is a full size highlighter and I think I'm gonna take the Moto brush and, and use that because I like my highlight to show. I literally paid $3 for this highlighter. Um, this was the, the add-on that I chose for the month of March. The Ofra highlighters, this is 10 grams and, or, you know, 0 0.35 ounces. These retail in the new packaging for $35. I don't know if Ofra is selling the older ones with the older packaging, like at a cheaper price anywhere. I didn't see it on their website. I, um, so I'm not quite sure about that. This highlight is definitely a lot more impactful than the Estate Baked Highlighter. I'm gonna take the Estate, or the Moto Brush and flip it over and go back into Estate. Usually with highlighters, I really like to be able to see the sheen on my face. Um, and if I don't, I will, now I can see it. Um, I will like spray my face with one of the like hydrating sprays that I have in order to um, get them to show up a little bit better. I'm just, I like to know that I personally can see my highlight in any form of lighting, whether it's dark in the car or I'm outside or I'm in um, indoor lighting. So with the Ofra highlighter that was $3, the bag total cost me $13. With the cost, or I should say the worth that the highlighter added in to the bag total, it totals $81.88. So hopefully you guys enjoy this unbagging. Um, I mean, I did kind of double up on the highlighters this time, but I mean, an Ofra highlight is certainly worth it. And Samantha March has been like raving about this highlight. It is her favorite. Uh, I do enjoy the Ofra highlighters. I have one of their highlighters, uh, one of their blushes, one of their banana press powders. It's like a finishing powder. And I have one of their liquid lipsticks and unzipped. And I honestly, other than the fact that the blush color is a little bit too dark and too brown for me, other than that, I love all of their products. I wish I could afford to buy more, but. It is what it is. That's one reason why I enjoy getting the Ipsy Glam bags is because I get to test out all these new products. It is only $10. I mean, these kind of samples are, you know, anything that's less than an ounce, I mean, really, it is what it is. But it's only meant to be something that you try out and see if you like it, and then later on, um, you can buy the full size. My problem is, is when you get something this tiny and the full size is like 50 to 100 bucks, that's what usually gets me. I find a product in here that I really enjoy, that I like, that I want to buy the full size of and then I see the full size price and I have sticker shock so that's one thing that you kind of have to be careful with with these um, unbaggings and like the different boxes and stuff like that for subscriptions is the full size price is quite hefty so this is my March 2019 Ipsy Glam Bag unbagging hopefully you guys enjoy I know my February one just went up today uh, but that's only because I didn't get it until like the 7th or 8th of March so here we are on the 8th the 19th? Yeah, 19th. March 19th when I'm recording this. Hopefully I can get this up before the end of the month. Anyways, I will see you guys in another video. Hopefully you have a great day or night wherever you are. Bye.